All right, so if you've gone shopping recently, you've likely run into issues finding what you need. Yeah, New Center Maine's Chloe Tebow joins us this morning to talk about how businesses are handling the demand for certain supplies. Chloe? Hi, Lindsay and Sharon. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, if you've been shopping recently, you've probably noticed that shelves in stores for items like toilet paper, hand sanitizer, and even bleach are basically empty right now. And when it comes to toilet paper, the Washington Post reports that this issue is a nationwide one, calling it sporadic and regional. The Post did say that this lack of toilet paper should be brief since the sudden surge in demand will likely subside, and about 90% of the toilet paper sold here in the U.S. is made here too. In the meantime, some local supermarkets and smaller stores have started putting a customer limit on certain supplies. I spoke to a supervisor at the Tom T. Convenience Store in Bangor, and she said she really began to notice an uptick in sales early last week. The three Tom T. locations in this area are all out of toilet paper right now. They've been trying to restock through larger companies like Sam's Club and Target, but those businesses businesses are also having trouble getting stocked up. I had just made a quick phone call to janitorial services to see if I could order, you know, a bigger box of toilet paper and they don't really have enough to keep up with their demand to let an outside personal, you know, sale go through. And some foods like breads and meats are also flying off the shelves. The external communications manager for Hannaford sent me a statement saying we are working as quickly as possible to replenish specific high demand items when a low inventory occurs. Also adding that Hannaford is in close contact with its suppliers. The shortage may be startling and it may make you want to go out and buy as much as you can right now. But Governor Janet Mills is encouraging people just to remember to leave enough for your neighbors. And coming up in the next half hour, I'll tell you what health officials are actually saying about this type of panic buying in the wake of coronavirus. In Bangor, Chloe Tebow, New Center, Maine.